Hey, I'm Alex, and today I'm going to see solve the second problem from PSAT 1 of CS50's introduction to programming with Python, which is called Home Federal Savings Bank. In Season 7, Episode 24 of Seinfeld Kramer visits a bank that promises to give $100 to anyone who isn't greeted with a hello. Kramer is instead greeted with a hey, which he insists isn't a hello, and so he asks for $100. The bank's manager proposes a compromise. You got a greeting that starts with an H? How does $20 sound? Kramer accepts. In file code bank.py, implement a program that prompts the user for a greeting. If the greeting starts with hello, output $0. If the greeting starts with an H, but not hello, output $20, otherwise output $100. Ignore any leading white space in the user's greeting and treat the user's greeting case insensitively. Okay, so we have three possible cases. The first case is the one where the user is greeted with a hello um, and therefore he gets $0. The second option is that the user is greeted with something that starts with H but is not hello uh, and in this case he gets $20. And the third option is that they get greeted with something that is different, uh, that doesn't start with neither hello nor H uh, and therefore the user gets $100. So we have three cases and Let's just focus on this part. Ignore any leading white space in the user's greeting and treat the user's greeting case insensitively. Um, okay, I'm going to close these those hints. And let's actually begin by setting up our file system and then start writing the code. First, we would like to create a new folder. So I'm already in my PSAT1 tutorial folder and I want to create or make a new directory, which is going to be called bank. Now I would like to go inside of this newly created folder. So change the directory to bank. And once I'm in, I would like to create a file, which is called uh, bank.py. So code bank.py. And now we have the file generated for us. We're safe to close this menu on the left and start implementing our solution. So what's the first thing we would like to do? Well, we would like to ask the user for input. So we're going to say input. And now in, um, in quotes, we can write some kind of a prompt. Let's see what the prompt is here. Uh, so the prompt in this case is just greeting and then a colon. So let's do this, greeting, colon, and a space. So in this case, the user can write the greeting. Then we want to take this input and store it in a variable, right? So the greeting is going to be equal to the result of this input. So if the user has entered, hello, James, we just take this entire string and store it inside of our greeting variable that we can later use to uh, compare to different strings. Okay, so we have this, but now I'm going to again stress the last sentence of our problem description, which says that we should ignore any leading white space and treat the greeting case, case insensitively. So there are two methods we are going to use now. I've already shown them um, in the previous tutorial that I uploaded, but I'm going to explain them again. So the first one, if we would like to ignore any white space, we can just remove it. And in order to remove it, we can use the method strip. And don't forget the, the open and closing brackets because they mean that we're actually calling this method onto the user's input. So we take some kind of input and we remove any leading white space. Let's now come here and quickly test this. I'm just going to print the greeting and execute the program. So in order to do that, I write Python and then the name of the file, which is bank.py. So greeting, first I'm going to just write, um, hello, James. And we see the same thing printed. 
But now let's run the program again. And this time I'm going to see, write um, like three white spaces. And then I'm going to enter hello, um, Victor. And now we see that these three white spaces have been removed um, because we're using the strip method. Okay, so the first condition is met. The second one is treat the user's greeting case insensitively. So in this case, we can either choose to convert the entire input to uppercase or to lowercase. And depending on that, we'll just have different conditions later on. But I usually prefer to have it in lowercase. It just makes more sense for me. So I'm just going to come here and chain another method, which is going to be called dot lower like this so let's test this and i'm going to quickly go over the entire line once more i'm just going to clean the terminal run it my grading is going to be hello with an uppercase h and e james and we see it printed uh, without any white space and the entire string has been converted to lowercase so again we ask the user for the greeting, we take it, we remove any leading white space, then we convert it to lowercase, and after all of these procedures have been done, we store it inside of our greeting variable. All right. Now, once we have this, we are safe to start checking whether the string begins with hello, which is our first condition, whether it starts with um, h and something afterward which is our second condition or whether it starts with something else it doesn't matter what it is if it starts with something else we want to print 100 dollars okay so let's begin the first um, condition is if this greeting starts with the uh, sorry starts with the word hello this is actually extremely easy in Python because it has a built-in method, which is called, guess what, starts with. So we can just say, if the greeting starts with, and then we're looking for the string hello. Now, I just want to um, stress that um, if we write it in lowercase here, then we must use the lower method here because in this case, both of the cases will be, uh, will just match. Um, but if here we've used upper, then this should be in uppercase too. But I usually prefer using lowercase, so lower, like this. If the greeting starts with hello, we want to print zero dollars, right? Because the bank officer has greeted the user and therefore the user doesn't get anything so let's quickly run the program i'm going to say hello uh, john and notice that my hello has an uppercase but since we're first converting it to lowercase we expect to see zero dollars and that's exactly what we get as an output now our second option is if the greeting doesn't start with the entire hello word but it still starts with an H. So L if or else if the greeting starts with an H, but is followed by something else, for instance, A for hey, then we want to print $20, right? Because if we go back to our problem description, um, if the greeting starts with an H, but not hello. We want to output $20. So let's test this. I'm going to write, hey, um, Jane. And we've got $20. And our last option is when the greeting doesn't start with a hello. And at the same time, it doesn't start with an H. So it starts with something else. Doesn't matter what it is. So we'll go, we're going to say else. In all of the other cases, just print $100 like this. So let's test it. And I'm going to go through the entire solution once more. So our greeting is going to be, um, I don't know. I'm just going to write some random string. And we've got $100. 
Okay, so our program seems to work. Let me explain once more the entire process, the entire solution or implementation of the problem. So first, we ask the user for the greeting. We take the user's inputs. We remove any leading white space and we convert these inputs to lowercase. Afterward, we just save it inside of our greeting variable that we later use to um, do some checking. So the first condition is if the greeting starts with the word hello, then we want to print zero dollars because the user doesn't get anything. But if the greeting doesn't start with a, a hello, but it starts with an H, we would like to print $20. And else, if neither of these two conditions is correct, we get into the third one and we print $100. That's pretty much the entire solution. So I'm just going to come here um, and execute. Okay, I've already copied it actually. And execute check 50 to ensure that my solution is correct and works in 100% of the cases. And we can see that all of our tests are green, which means that our solution is correct. That was everything for this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful and I'm going to see you in the next video.